How to factory reset the Samsung Galaxy Flip. Welcome to one of the smartphones tutorial videos. In this video, we'll be showing us how to do a factory reset on the Samsung Galaxy Flip. What the factory reset is, is let's say you're looking to sell your device, give it away, trade it in, whatever you want to do, pretty much get it out of your possession, and you want to clear everything off of there before it goes to the new owner or back to the company. Um, and you just, I recommend backing up all your information before clearing it. Um, let's say you're having malfunctions with your device and you're doing this factory reset just to kind of reset everything. Uh, once again, I recommend strongly recommend backing up all your data, all your information, because when you do the factory reset, everything will be wiped and removed off the device. So the way to do the factory reset is by swiping down, uh, by sw and then going into settings by hitting the little gear icon here at the top right. Swipe down all the way to the bottom, go to about phone. I'll swipe down uh, to the bottom. It says looking for something else. Go ahead and hit reset. From reset, you will scroll down towards the bottom. You will see one that says factory data reset. So we'll go ahead and select that. And here it says the uh, factory data reset. All data will be erased from your phone, including it'll remove, it will not delete your Google account. It'll just remove it from this device. System apps, settings, any settings that you have set will be reset back to the default settings. Downloaded apps will be removed. Any music that was downloaded to this device will be removed. So if you don't have it saved, back it up. Pictures, same thing. Videos, uh, contacts, everything kind of falls in that category. All, uh, all other user data, anything that you imported pretty much to the device or changed in the settings will be removed and set back to factory settings. So uh, if you are okay with that, we can go ahead and hit reset. And this is all your personal information uh, and downloaded apps will be erased and cannot be recovered. So this is not saying if you purchased an app, you will still have it. You will be able to sign in on a different device and uh, pretty much re-download it for free. You don't have to pay for it again. So that's kind of, uh, you know, well, that's just what it's telling you that it's going to be removed from this device and you will need to download it again on another device. So, uh, and it's asking, are you sure you want to do that? I'm going to go ahead and delete all. So there you guys have it. This is now starting the reset process, clearing all that information off there and pretty much starting it back with the um, new uh, startup wizard that you get when you get the device new. Um, and what I would recommend doing is doing a full cycle like I'm about to show you guys. Just that way, when you go to sign in the second time, don't use any of your personal information. Don't back anything up. Don't sign in with any kind of Google accounts or anything like that. Just get it back to the home screen so you can check it out. If somebody needs to look at the IMEI number, maybe they're looking to buy it off of you or something like that. They need to check that IMEI to verify that it's still a legit phone. So I would strongly recommend just kind of cycling it back through, hook it up to your Wi-Fi, and then um, get it back to that home screen so they are able to check it out or if you go to trade it in the store can look at it and see hey everything is done correctly and that way there are no issues so everything goes rather quick uh, once you get to that samsung screen it does take a a little little while to get up once it kind of that's when it's taking all its time removing everything and kind of clearing all the information all the data that is on there so that might take a little take a second but we are now back to that welcome screen that i was referring to earlier so i'm just going to go ahead and just start it up you know, get it back to that home screen, just kind of show you guys that, you know, get it back to the home screen so the, the potential buyer, somebody looking for it, um, can take a look at it. So right here, we're going to be going into the internet, signing into your password, your white, this is going to be for your Wi-Fi. So if you have that, go ahead and assign. Got my internet password typed in. Just going to go ahead, hit uh, connect, get it connected. And that way, if you uh, this is the way to do it. If you don't have a SIM card in there, if you have an active SIM card in there, it might work. Just like that, it was able to go through, connect it to Wi-Fi. Uh, now it's looking to activate your device. If you have an active SIM card in there, it'll probably use that. I currently don't, so um, it's not activated to a number. It's just a Sprint card that's in there. So I'm just going to go ahead. You want to activate it? No. Select it? No. And then uh, now it's getting your phone ready. Once again, it gives you a... In, a message that says this may take a few minutes the more data you have on there the more you know the photos videos contacts the more information that is stored on the device the longer this process will take so and i would strongly recommend once again just a reminder back everything up back it up save it make sure it's saved if you're transferring it to a different phone before clearing this one make sure that the other the new phone has all the information on it that you wanted on there double check photos you know double check the uh, quantity of photos to try to make sure it's got the same amount uh, video same thing contacts make sure all your contacts transferred over before deleting all your old information because if you delete it off this device doing this factory reset you will no longer be able to access it through this device it will be pretty much wiped and it is gone 
and continue on, continuing it on, it's asking if you want to copy apps and data. I'm gonna go don't cap, copy because I don't want any of my information on there. I just wanted a clear um, device, pretty much factory settings with no information on there. And if you're gonna copy, it's gonna ask for information, Google accounts, stuff like that to bring in information. Here it's asking for, uh, to sign in with a Google account. I'm gonna go ahead and hit skip. Are you sure you want to skip? You're missing out on these all missing out on these features. Go ahead, hit skip, more, and agree. Just kind of terms and conditions. Set a passcode. You don't really need to if you're getting rid of it, uh, rid of your device. Uh, it's asking to skip anyways. I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK there. So now it's saying get your phone ready. This uh, may take a few minutes, so we'll just go ahead and wait. And we're waiting some more. Get uh, recommended apps. You know the Sprint app, whatever. I'm just going to hit next. Um, Samsung account hit and skip again are sure you want to skip it's asking for some T-Mobile gotta hit accept here and then taking care of your phone hit next and now we're all set up and it's gonna take us to the home screen so if you guys were uh, remembered earlier I had a vibrant color a vibrant background with different colors um, now it's just set to the default factory settings of whatever they have on the factory settings. And then now that it's kind of started up again, it's going to start booting up, uh, downloading apps and stuff like that that is currently not on there that comes factory on uh, factory on the device uh, installed. So there you guys have it. That is my tutorial video on how to do a factory reset, pretty much clearing all information off of your Samsung Galaxy Flip. So if you're looking to sell it, you know, get rid of it, trade it in, whatever the case may be, this is the way to do it. And pretty much starting it back up getting it to that home screen so a potential buyer or whoever can check it out a little more easily so there you guys have it hope you found this video helpful if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you know anybody who might be looking for information like this please go ahead and pass it on to them and if you'd like to see more helpful tips and tricks on the samsung galaxy flip be sure to check out that playlist in the description below thanks for watching have a good day